Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be doing something this little compass over here cannot. I'll be giving you a level guide for Logia users. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Also, I have recently created a new website. It will be the first link in the description if you want to go check that out. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first island that you come to in the third sea is Port Town. Port Town's got three quests, the Pirate Millionaires, the Pistol Billionaires, and Stone the Boss. The Pirate Millionaire, you can be Logia or immune to it, starting at level 1,552. So you should probably stay in the second sea until then if you do not have Buddha or something like that. The Pistol Billionaires, you start to become immune against at level 1579. Now stone the boss. Bosses you can't be immune against, that would just be overpowered and hit the drops really easily. So the level you can actually start doing the stone quest is at 1550, which is two levels below when you become immune to millionaires. So that's Port Town out of the way. Next is Hydra Island. This one right over there that kind of looks like a really messy wedding cake. Or a volcano. Whichever one you want to say. Right, so I'm at the lower part of Hydra Island. You can set the spawn point right next to this uh, friendly, friendly arena. How'd I get in here? Um, oh, and I can just as easily get through again. Alright then, anyway, the quest is right over here to the left of the arena, you can just go grab the quests, the first quest is the Dragon Crew Warriors, right here. You get immunity against them at 1631, and they are these ones with swords. Then the next quest is the Dragon Crew Archers which you get immunity to at level 1658. They are all the way up here. As you can see, they're all here. They all use the serpent bow, which is pretty annoying. Then once you're done with these ones down here, you can just head up the mountain to the top right over here. And you can see there's more things to do. So the next set of quests is right over here. There's three of them. The first of which is the Female Islander. Here it is, the Female Islander quest. You get immunity to them at 1,683. After the Female Islanders, you can do the quest Giant Islanders, which are right over here. They're pretty spread out as well. As you can see, they're right here. And they've got Harpy, so they can damage you. So, it won't be immune to them almost no matter what. And after that is the Island Empress. She spawns right here. It's a boss that you can take at level 1675. Now we are done with Hydra Island. The next thing we are going to want to go to is that right over there, the Great Tree. The Great Tree has three quests. The Marine Commodore, which there they are, there's one of them anyway. They have Harkies so they can attack Elementals or Logia users. The next of which is the Marine Rear Admirals. Now these are, I actually do not know what level the Yen Logia against them. I could not find what level it is, so I'm going to guess since the quest is 1725, I'd probably estimate it is 1787 or something along the lines of that. But eventually you will be able to be a of these guys, I don't know exactly when. And the third quest is the boss. The boss is the Kilo. 
should take the Killer Admiral quest at level 1750, which I reckon you probably should do. You should do the bosses as soon as you can, just server hop them, since you've got this really handy server thing. As soon as it loads, you can drag it down, select a random server, go to it and check if the boss is there, kill it, then go to another. So again, the Killer Admiral is level 1750. And then that's all for the Great Tree. After the Great Tree, you're going to want to go to Floating Turtle Island. And the Floating Turtle Island is that one over there that looks like the shape of a turtle. You're going to be at Floating Turtle for quite a while, actually. There's a, quite a few quests here. So the first set is right over here. You got the Fishman Raider and the Fishman Captain. For the Fishman Raider, you get immunity at level 1000. 844. That's not the radar. This is the radar over here. These green ones. And for the Fishman Captain, you get immunity at 1870. Now after you go past those ones, you go to the Forest Pirates. They are this way through the castle. And they are over here. The Deep Forest Quest Giver has three quests, the Forest Pirate, Mythological Pirate, and Captain Elephant. As you can see, the Forest Pirates have Haki, so they can damage you. And so do the Mythological Pirates, so that's very fun, isn't it? But Captain Elephant, the boss, you can do at level 1875. He is, or spawns right over here. He's actually quite a hard boss if you stay near him, since he can grapple onto you and do this really annoying move. But he can give a cool sword called the Twin Hooks, so I reckon just server hopping him at level 1875. And after you get past them, the next set of quests is right over here, the Deep Forest Area 2 quest giver. They've got three again, Jungle Pirate, Musketeer Pirate, and Beautiful Pirate. The jungle pirates are over here, or in this direction. You can get immunity to them at 1,974. The musketeer pirates are right over here in this fort thing. There's seven of them. You get immunity to them at level 2,002, which is quite a while away from their actual quest. And then, finally, the boss. The boss, beautiful pirate, you can take the quest at 1,950. Gives 50,000 cash and like 100 million XP, which is very nice. He is all the way over here in his cave. I think you need to be like roughly 1,950 or the level to take his quest to get in. He spawns, he takes a while to spawn. He's got two uh, modes or whatever, and he's hard to kill on your own. So, unless you have Buddha, which I don't think most of you will because this is a log your video but I mean you can always try to kill him I'm not stopping you after you get past all these you can go to the sea of treats the sea of treats is right in between the floating turtle island and the great tree right over there in this direction here is the first island you will go to in the sea of treats they have two quests the peanut scout and the Peanut President. Now, as you can notice, the Peanut Scouts give the same amount of XP as the Beautiful Pirate, which is cool to note. Now, over here, the Peanut Scouts and the rest of these, I do not have where you will be immune to them. I could not find what level exactly but it's roughly 70 extra levels above this. So, 2,075, I'd say roughly 2,150 you'd be immune to. And then for the presidents, you will not because they have Haki. So, that's amazing. And then the next island after that is this one. They've got three quests, I believe at the ice cream giver quest, or quest giver. 
They've got the Ice Cream Chef, the Ice Cream Commander, and Cake Queen. The Ice Cream Chef is level 2125, so you'll be immune to them at roughly level 2200. After the Ice Cream Chef, you can go to the... Not, not them. No, actually, you can't go to these. The Ice Cream Commanders. You will not be immune to them at all. I am pretty sure that these ones over here, the Ice Cream Chefs, are the last ones you will be immune to. Now, after the Ice Cream Chefs, you can do the Cake Queen at level 2175. She is right up here in the castle and can give the Buddy Sword with a 5% drop. The Buddy Sword is a really fun sword to use, so if you're up for it, you can go uh, server hop killing her and hopefully get her sword. After that island, you can come to this island. If you are using a log of fruit, then I do not recommend it because all these cookie crafter, the cake guard, and the baking stuff all have haki. If you really want to be immune to them, then I think you should just get chop, since you'll be immune to these ones, the cake guards, eh, but not the head bakers. N not the baking stuff, I think. Mean. Or the head bakers. Turns out there was two quests here. <laughs> Here's the baking stuff and head baker quests. I know some of it I did not have the levels for, but I really hope this did help you. If you really can't be bothered to do any of that waiting, the extra 70-ish levels or whatever it is to be immune to the enemies, I really think you should just use Awakened Buddha. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.